Welcome to Doug Shoe Bushcraft. In this video, we're going to be modding this Harbor Freight survival knife. Can I make it strong enough, rugged enough for daily use or even bushcraft and survival? Link in the description. The review of this knife was in an earlier video, and I came to the conclusion that hollow handled survival knives like these they're hollow so they have survival kit in the handle and typically a compass on the end very attractive idea to a lot of people however I came to the conclusion in the previous video that there are better options it's been drilled into our heads as bushcrafters and survivalists that you need a full tang knife especially large knife like that, especially a chopper. But I, I have some sort of fascination with this and I'm not sure exactly why. <laughs> Was it that first Rambo movie where the authorities are after him and he's got this knife, he grabbed it off the sheriff's desk or whatever, jumped on some guy's dirt bike and he's going through the woods. He has this knife with compass on the end and he's unscrewing it there's matches inside or something and then he's suturing up a wound with a needle and thread he had in here so what's the fascination I'm not sure but I was <laughs> in the Harbor Freight store there's a lot of really practical things in there but then they have these shiny toys or whatever you want to call them I'm walking past and just gotta have it, it was cheap money I forget what I, I looked online and the going price these days is only $9.99 and I think there there's a sale with some sort of internet coupon if you print it out bring it to a store I think it's $6.99 how can you pass it up I'm not sure it's hard for me even if I been drilled into my head you need a full tang knife but do you could it could I do maybe a simple mod to this and make it practical and why would I want to well the test will be fun anyway at the very least if it's $6.99 and I have hundreds of dollars worth of fun running around the woods and doing whatever, it's worth it to me. Hopefully it's worth worth it to you to watch. And I just want to mention this isn't a sponsored video. They didn't pay me anything. They didn't even send me the knife for free. Like I said, I saw it hanging its blister pack like all <laughs> top quality knives hanging on a pig in a blister pack and I just had to have it. So let's get into it. I'll show you my simple mod. This little screw here that you remove with an Allen wrench, and I believe that's all that holds the blade in. Looks to me like the aluminum was stripping out and then it's jammed in the threads there. So that's not good. Doesn't look to me like there's any epoxy at all on there. All looks like clean metal. So this is my thought. JB Weld Quick Weld. The mod I'm proposing, if they can even call it that because it's so simple. And the directions to use this epoxy are on the packaging. Basically, you just mix equal parts of the two ingredients together. Since the epoxy comes in two parts, I found that it doesn't harden on the shelf. 
Maybe it would after an extremely long time. I'm thinking I should have mixed more of that. I believe I have about six minutes. Well, less than that. Because it sets up in six minutes. Thought I was mixing up too much, but that's the way it goes. I'm hoping it will also seal up the handle as far as the waterproof storage. When I tested it by throwing it in the river, there was a crack. Right here, there was a crack between the blade and the handle. The water was getting in there. Cleaned up the mess. I don't mind seeing a little black. I'll put my set screw back in. Oh no! Didn't go in all the way. Can't even do this right. <laughs> Alright, second try. Oh no! Submerged. Alrighty, did water get into my survival kit? Not sure, made my own. Actually, it's more like a fire kit, though I, I have it set up. Link in the description in the earlier video. I went over the stock fire kit and wasn't real impressed, so I made my own. Nice been drip drying for a few minutes. Clean off the rest of the water. I don't want to introduce any past my seal. The moment of truth. I'm not seeing any water at all. put the cotton here because cotton is flammable it can catch spark from a ferro rod and also it's absorbent so if a little bit of water did get past my seal there's a rubber o-ring on the cap but if any water did get through that just a little bit it would soak it up 
but that that feels dry I don't feel any dampness at all so there's my fire kit I have it jammed in there pretty good to settle down on the rattling also to try to get as much as possible in there because it's small space and I want it all or at least as much as I can get okay first thing that came out is my strike anywhere matches at least a few of them oh <laughs> Oh, I might as well show you the full kit then. <clears throat> I've got five Strike Anywhere matches. They're not literally Strike Anywhere, they're Strike Many Places. They call them that because you don't need the striking paper on the match box or the match book. Got a big fat birthday candle. Ferro rod. Probably really should have taken off the handle to make more space, but I didn't. And a mini lighter. So there I have fire, but forget you saw that. Okay, got my damp-ish rock because it's been raining on and off for days. Can I strike the match against there? Get it lit. All right, I'm not gonna light a full-on fire. I'm just assuming that I got the candle lit, I could do whatever I wanted to do. All right, that's getting me plenty of time to get a fire going, right? You know what's bad when I start off with abuse? I'm gonna throw this knife at the tree. If I miss somehow, there's a cliff right on the other side. So, let's see what happens. So much fun! <laughs> this tree came down in a storm last winter. It's completely dead.
One thing I am noticing, the completely round handle, is that I'm losing the orientation of the blade because I can hit the tree, shifts in my hand. I don't realize it that I'm hitting it without being square. So maybe I could get used to it. So that's just one thing to think of. That's a lot of abuse so far and there's, there's no play there at all. None at all. I'll keep going. Maybe this spear shaft looks familiar to you. And that same poor old tree. Did you duck? I'll give you three guesses what that terrible noise was. Can I get the wooden plug out of my knife? I don't know. If I could do that on the trail, it'd be a chore. Maybe it throws better now. Maybe I need to slow my roll. There we go. If at first you don't succeed, just keep beating the tar right out of your knife.
I think I might like notching better than chopping. More control seems like less shock on the hand somehow. No damage to my point. I'm not seeing any damage to the blade or the edge. And no play in the blade. So that issue I caused myself. Can't blame the knife for that. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Carefully, safely remove that. The knife didn't break. My tripod did. <laughs> it's Murphy's Law. So I just got the camera balanced right there. Hopefully it doesn't fall down the cliff and into the creek. It held up. Just that simple little mod. So simple can you even call it a mod. Just adding the JB Weld. I have some familiarity with JB Weld. Happen to have some on hand. So I use that. I would recommend the JB Weld for this. If you have another epoxy, you could try that, but in my opinion, Gordon or Harbor Freight, whoever makes this, is Gordon actually the same as Harbor Freight? Or is that a separate company? Put the, if you know, uh, you can put that information in the, in the comments, but in my opinion, the manufacturer should add some sort of epoxy so when Harry Homeowner goes and buys it, it's a much, much tougher knife. Why don't they do that? Just that little squirt of glue and a world of difference. If it was like that in my first test, the results would have been completely different. I'm still, I'm still skeptical because you got the stub tang. I'd be a lot more confident with a full tang. But there are advantages with the, with the stub tang. Let's say you had a knife like that. And it's nice and thick and then you got a handle like a squarish handle with that slab going all the way through well that has weight weight to carry on the trail but then it makes a whole knife different because with a light aluminum handle it's hollow it's blade heavy good for chopping feels just feels good like a little machete okay so you have this big slab of metal for the full tang and then it's uh, handle heavy and it just doesn't feel right it doesn't feel the same so this trade trade-offs well, would I recommend it for survival? I don't know. It's <laughs> shattering my world here. I mean, I thought that might hold up, but some people said it works. You know, I, I just want to try it myself. Okay, so i just got to let you know that I put the JB Weld on there. I let it sit for two days. I think I, forget, I forgot to mention that. I let it sit for two days. And this morning I was checking it out and it seemed like it wasn't completely cured. Um, you might have seen in that second batch of JB World I made, I was rushed. And when I watched the video, I'm like, oh no, I didn't mix it thoroughly enough. So maybe that's my fault, but I, I let it sit for longer. I should have. I just had the time to get out in the woods and make a video and I was just itching to play with my Rambo knife. <laughs> Probably can't say that as a trademark. Play with my Rambo knife. Um, so you got to let it sit and uh, harden, you know, not the same day. I mean, I, I think the, the same day that the, the uh, blade wobble would have come right back. And I just ran out into the woods this one afternoon and I, I, I really <laughs> beat this up. <laughs> Went hog wild on the thing. And uh, I'm impressed so far. So would I recommend this is your designated survival blade? Maybe not, but here's the thing. People say should have full tang, and I agree. Now at this point, I'd have to say I agree. However, um, whether they're gonna charge that 100, 150, $200. So am I gonna leave this under the seat of my truck if it was a $200 knife? Or would I leave it in cash in the woods? Or, you know, and get all rusted up, or someone could steal it, or whatever I can lose it somehow real expensive knife 
if it's just the one I carry in my purse, then sure, but budget knives. I mean, it's fun. Uh, let me tell you, call me a kid, that's fine. I'm a big kid, uh, but I got my $6.99 worth of fun. <laughs> but I might not recommend it for your designated survival blade, but is it good for utility? With this mod, Maybe. I, I'm still not sure. I'm going to beat this up some more. And uh, now please leave comments. Am I on to something? Am I crazy? A have you uh, modded a uh, Harbor Freight knife like this? Just let me know what you think. And I thank you for joining me. And I'll see you again soon. Let all who seek God's help be encouraged. Psalm 69, 32.